Many families gather for the holiday season. At the Romero home, one seat was empty. We will never have a Merry Christmas. Time may pass, but the pain remains the same. He was, he was happy. He always made me laugh. <laughs> this week marks the first anniversary of the death of a local father and husband, Richard Romero. He was an upstanding, wonderful guy. You know, um, he wasn't perfect, but he was perfect for us. Romero had just left school at College of the Canyons. He was traveling north on Sierra Highway when a car made a U-turn in front of him. Romero's motorcycle collided with the car. The driver fled the scene, leaving the husband and father for dead. My husband sustained um, severe um, head injuries, uh, a brain bleed. He fractured 12 of his ribs. He fractured both wrists and his arm and his shoulder. Two hours later, 23-year-old Kimberly Peniza was arrested. She was eventually charged with driving under the influence. The initial news report came out that my husband was deceased. Um, and when I had gotten to the hospital, that was practically the position that he was in. Angela's husband held on for three weeks, but his injuries proved too great. He died on Christmas Eve. My life was changed forever at an instant for one decision of having two beers at a local restaurant. It's a heartbreaking loss and a future shattered. The reason why he was taking French was because we had plans to retire in France and we no longer have that plan. Peniza was sentenced to seven years in state prison. Angela plans to write her a letter. What I want to know from her is does she care? Does she care that because of the choices she made that night that she killed somebody? And does she care that that impact affects us for the rest of our life? Angela is sharing her story of heartache in the hopes of impacting people heading down the wrong path. One drink is too many. It affects you. There's no way that you can control a car even after one drink. Don't do it. Don't wreck people's lives. If you plan to drink this holiday season, play it safe. After all, it's as easy as downloading an app or calling a friend. Reporting for The Signal, I'm Austin Dave.